Hello and welcome back to Panacraft. I'm Shaden23 and today we're going to be doing a much needed upgrade to a farm I think I made in my first episode on the server. This farm right here in the rain. It's not a bad farm, it's a waddles design and it works really well and is really easy to make. Like first day Minecraft, first day. But, I mean, it's not working. <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I came past the other day and it was working, but before then I hadn't seen it going for ages. So you can see I'm here in a village. I'm actually miles away from my base. And not far away from us is a pillager outpost. So I need both some pillagers and some villagers to make the farm I want to make today. And I think I'm going to build it out here. But the first thing I'm going to do is get some more of these guys. I need more villagers, more than this village has got anyway. So I'm going to build a nice, quick and easy villager breeder farm. The same one I've built in <laughs> pretty much every time I build a farm. And it's the Logical Geek Boys villager breeder farm. And while everyone's asleep, I'm going to get it done. And 30 seconds later, we have ourselves a villager breeder. And that's why they call me 30 Second Shaden. Okay, I've picked a location for the farm and you can see it's pretty close to both the pillager outpost and my villager breeder. So it should be fairly easy to get both of those things in. And I just realized I probably didn't even say what it was yet. It's gonna be an enormous iron farm. Now I don't really need the iron at the moment, like not right this second, but I will need it. We've got so many plans for different builds and we're gonna need as much iron as we can get. Sim has got a good iron farm, but he's kind of got turned off at the moment while he's building his castle. So I figured let's build a castle out here in the middle of nowhere where we can just AFK at it. It doesn't have to look pretty, but it'll be really, really efficient. So I'm gonna get started now and I'll see you after the time lapse. Have you subscribed yet? It would mean so much if you did. It's completely free and it would help out a lot. Thank you. This iron farm design is by Strom, 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 Strom. I'll put a link in the description and a card in the top right for you to check it out. All right, this is coming along slowly. It looks like a mess at the moment, all my scaffolding everywhere, but uh, it is coming along. So what I've done is all the all these things here, all you can see all the slime and the leaf blocks and everything. This is where the iron golems will spawn in and immediately, immediately they'll be pushed off out of the way, off to the edges and they'll be out of the range of the villagers. And once the golem is out of range, these villagers will try to spawn another one. And it happens really fast. I was going to put the villagers in first, but I'm thinking maybe I need to build the internals, put the pillagers in. Make sure they can't see what we're doing while we're putting all the villagers in place. Because if the villagers are in first, when I'm transporting the pillagers into the center column here, they may try to shoot them. I'm not gonna pacify the pillagers. Once the pillagers are in their little cages here, they'll be out of range to be able to shoot these guys, to shoot the villagers, but they'll still be able to scare them. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, let's do that. So this is um, pretty high, it's pretty high up. I'm on the top level, top layer, and I'm going to try to put the pillager in this little capsule here. My plan is to use a bubble column, which I haven't actually finished yet, and get them all up here into this, lock them into place, hide them away, and then use the same bubble column to get the villagers onto this layer here. I think it's going to work, but um, I've still got to go from down the bottom there all the way over to there somewhere to find a pillager, bring it back over here. All right, I've made a path all the way over to landfall where the pillager outpost is. And along here, I'm hoping he's just gonna follow me. I'm hoping they'll just follow me along here. If I run along and then fly out at the last minute, and if I can lure them into this little water stream and then up, hopefully that works. I think it'll, I think it'll work. Okay, he's seen me already. Okay, well, all right. He's coming, he's coming. He's already trying to shoot me. That's okay. Uh, 2,000 years later. Okay, so it didn't really take that long, but it was really fiddly and I got shot a bunch of times. So one there, I need to get three villages in each of those pods up there, and then repeat the whole thing three more times. Ah, oh, this is gonna take a while. This is gonna take a while, isn't it? 
Okay, I think I'm ready to put the first villager in now. I've redirected the bubble column over this way. Got an ice to slip on and into here. I'm hoping that will be enough for him to get in and not want to go further. Hmm. I think the water pressure should stop them. But that part, yeah, that's a bit of a mystery. We'll see what happens. I've also made a rail track all the way along here. I should be able to get him out of the minecart, I hope into the water stream, go up the bubble column, and into the, the bed. Let's see if it works. All right, I'll put a couple of mine carts in here. I've just got the two for now. And click that. We've got one. All we got to do is nudge him along here. This is all right, I don't need power rails. And this should give me a bit of a speed boost. Excellent. You okay, mate? You all right? Oh, push. Here we go. And push again. Okay. Now this bit could go wrong. I'm a little bit concerned what's going to happen when I get him out of the minecart. But let's just block this off so he can't go further. I'm going to put on hitboxes. I'm going to try very carefully not to hit him. Okay, okay, he's in. Now it's got to get him past here, which he doesn't want to do at all. <laughs> Oh, okay, no, he's, he's going, he's going, he's going, and is he going up? Is he going to go up? Not quite. A little bit of a nudge. He's up, he's up, okay. Let's see if we can see him. There he goes. Oh, straight into the bed. Perfect. I think when he wakes up, he should, should stay in there but let's just make this a bit higher just in case I don't I don't really know how this stuff works let's go sleep and we'll see what happens when we wake up okay he's in the pod that's good so this is gonna work now I just need two more in there three there three over there and three in there And it's finally all working. This took a long time to make, mainly because it's so fiddly. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Mainly because it's so fiddly all up in the sky with no real connecting parts, but uh, it's going. Look at it. You see all the iron golems coming in now and they are getting suffocated by this gravel, which you can kind of see falling down there. There it is. Look at them falling down. So good. And all the way down here, we have we have a bit of a mess from me, but that's okay. In here, we're starting to see full shulker boxes of iron ingots. This area is filled up with empty shulker boxes, which loads up the shulker loader here with iron. And then we also get some bone meal. I have noticed though, at night time, this thing sort of stops working. I think because these guys don't get a chance to sleep because of the pillagers there scaring them. So I'm finding I need to turn the whole farm off for a few seconds and back on again. Long enough for those guys to be able to sleep and for the redstone down there to reset and then turn it back on again and it seems to be working. So it's not ideal, it's not ideal. Okay, it's been a few days and I had a bit of a think about this farm. I wanted to find a slightly better way of doing things just to, just to suit me. There's nothing wrong with the farm, it's really good, but to suit me and my purposes, now it starts raining. Ugh. Right here we have a switch that turns on this part of the farm with the gravel. And this is not connected in any way to the middle column, which I can't quite see from here. It's, uh, I'm in the water. And as you can see, it's not connected to the middle column at all. Okay, this is the top, and I've made some changes here as well. This switch beside me will turn the farm on and off like it used to, but I also have a bit of a pulse extender connected to a daylight sensor, basically meaning when the sun goes down, this circle will activate, send a bit of a pulse through, which will then go and shut the trap doors momentarily for like a few seconds just long enough for all these guys to have a sleep and this will happen every night the doors will shut momentarily allowing the villagers to have a quick nap and then they can keep spawning the golems and then down here i can then come back and turn on the other part of the farm here we go here we go turn this on if we give it a moment we'll see it start to activate all of the gravel here and there we go 
It's moving. And it's starting to take damage. So now I can activate this as I need to. Or deactivate it. Oh, hello. Hello, mate. Hey. Um, do, you, do, you, do you mind? I'm trying to, trying to record a video here. Let's just turn this off for now. And what I'll do is I'll come back next time it's almost sunset and show you how it works. All right, the farm is chugging away merrily and the sun is coming down. Still got a few minutes more to go. I'm going to just be quick because the door's only shut for a few seconds. I might have to play a little bit of a time lapse so you can see it properly. Hey, see you, buddy. Um, but this is going to go any moment now. So it happens before sunset, but before... There it is, there it is, there it is. And they're having a sleep. And... There we go, it's open again. It's open again. And so the farm should keep running. You can see it much better in this time lapse. When the sun goes down, it will activate the daylight sensor, pushing the block up, activating a pulse, and closing the trapdoors. There we go. The village is now able to sleep. Only for a brief second, they'll wake up again, and they'll reset, ready to make more golems. And this will happen every time the sun goes down, just for that brief moment, and the farm will continue to run. So there we have it. If we let that do that every night, that, that's plenty of time for them to sleep. They don't even need to sleep that often. I think the villagers only need to sleep once every three nights, or at least try to, I think. Tell me if I'm wrong in the comments below because I'm not an expert. But I think it's working well. I can hear it still running. And this should mean I can just AFK here for ages. The villagers get to sleep. We'll keep making iron. Yeah, we've, we've, we're getting some iron now. We're getting some iron. You may remember last episode, I made a bit of a puzzle challenge escape room thingy for Sim. And one thing I didn't say in episode was I made sure that he actually ran the puzzle before I set the episode live, before you got to see it. I didn't want him to get any clues, any ideas about what was going to be in there. I wanted him to go in completely blind. So now I'm going to play some footage of when he found the clue and came over to ask for some advice on how to actually run it. I really should build a bit of a building around this one day and maybe make some more potion brewing machines. I don't know, but this looks a bit messy out here just like this, doesn't it? I should. Oh, hey, Hello. hey man, what are you doing? I'm just, you're just interrupting my video here. Uh, um, that's okay. I don't, I'm okay uh, with this. Can you see uh, that little red dot? I can see one on your head. There's one on my head. I was recording. Yeah, I see the red dot. I was recording. I thought it was a tar. I thought it was a target. <laughs> you would. Uh, just. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, so I found this book in my base, and um. Oh, the the sim quest. It says that you're the author. Ah, oh, this is one of my this is one of my best bits of work. Your best bits of work. Yeah. Is it a dirt hut? What? Oh, t <laughs> a dirt hut. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 I see what you did there. So uh, I figured. Mm. I know that the, I know the I was looking at the coordinates. The coordinates aren't far from here. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I thought I'll start here because it says something about I don't know something about a witch. A, a witch. Oh, it's not actually about a witch. No, it's not about a witch at all. What? What are you talking I was thinking, about? For some reason, I was thinking brewing. Yeah, no, it's, no, no. Re rename that which crumbles down under. I've no oh, idea what that yes. is. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm gonna go to these coordinates and find out. So, oh, um, so, so something crumbles. Yeah, that's something the way. crumbles. Hmm. Okay, all right. Well, I mean, I'll, okay. I'll wait. Something. That's. Uh, I'm not giving you any clues. No, I don't, I don't want your stinking clues. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably, probably, uh, pro probably what keep are these dudes chat, doing here? The, the pandas. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. These little, ago. I, re this, I renamed them. The little grumpy men oh, over here. Oh, these guys. The grumpy men. Oh, I didn't oh, see them. Oh, show, oh, show you. Don't, don't shoot for? the panda. Don't shoot the panda. It's dangerous here. Why are they there? I don't know. Ah, oh, okay. Let's. You've, that is right in your head. No, it's, hang on. Stand still. It's coming out of my neck. Oh, Ooh, look like, at that. It's really got it's you good. It's in my collarbone. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right, so I'm going to go do this quest. And uh, yeah, like... Probably keep an eye on your chat because yeah. I'm probably gonna have I'm probably gonna get stuck. <laughs> I'm not very good at quests. Okay, we'll, we'll find out. Shortly, yeah, yeah, shortly, I guess we'll we? find out. Um, best of luck. Enjoy. Alright, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, worries. take it easy. Bye. What is he doing? Hey, um, just quickly interrupting. Yeah, I wasn't recording. Is this part of the recording? No. I oh, you're joking. <laughs> that was a, I didn't even press record. That was really good too. I liked all that. It was alright, yeah. Well, I could um, still use it. You can. You, can. yeah, you can't use it. Ugh. Go back to work. Oh, right, okay, dear. <laughs> <laughs> alright, let's go. 1900, 1900. There he goes. Look at him. Swimming so, in the water. Uh, Shaden and I were just chatting. So, I didn't say it in my last episode, but the clue is a cookie renamed as a biscuit. Here in Australia, we call them biscuits.
All right, not cookies, it's a biscuit. This is the key to the first test. I want to go have a look at what he's doing. I'm going to go on free cam. He's, he's dug a hole. He's dug a hole. That's cheating. It's cheating. Look at him. Look at him cheat. Hello. Hello. You're stuck on the first clue. You're stuck on the first clue, are you? Okay, so, 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 so let's just let's just be clear about something real quick, right? So you said Editing shade in here. Right? You say a bunch of stuff here that's it, really not that right. important. Okay. I wouldn't worry about it. Don't even don't even think about it. But you know, maybe check out Sims video if you want the full conversation. Yeah, but you want it to be a specific item with a specific name. How how what, the Okay, what is it? So what read out the clue? Okay, the clue is rename that which crumbles down under. What crumbles? Apple crumble. No, okay, so it's obviously gonna be something in the game. <laughs> But, but I do love a good in Australia, crumble. in Australia, maybe we call it something different. Apple pie. Okay, we're talking about Minecraft. <laughs> oh, okay, I okay, don't okay. believe there's okay. an apple pie in the game. Good, because I call it apple crumble. Like, I mean, there's a difference between there's, apple crumble and apple, apple pie. crumble, apple pie. They're both great, yes, but they're different. But they are. <laughs> apple crumble's way better, just for the record. This is true. You know what? I'm gonna go get a slice of apple crumble. I'll be back. We we had apple crumble the other night. It was so good. <laughs> With custard so and ice cream. Anyway, okay, okay, okay. My mum makes the... Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> There's a bit of a saying, that's the way the something crumbles. Oh, uh, uh, do you know what? Mm -hmm. I actually know exactly what it is. Do you? I do, and and I have to make a confession here. Yeah. You had a look in there, didn't you? I, I, I was looking inside you in the there. redstone before. Well, here, look. And, and just, I saw that there was a cookie. There was a cookie. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> just do it. Just hey, look. And it's I even found a biscuit. Biscuit, that's right. That's what we call it down here, don't we? We do, but it says cookie down there. Does, does, do you want it to say biscuit or do you want to say cookie? Oh, it says biscuit. Your your piston door worked. My redstone worked, man. High five. Thanks. I mean, I, 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 I just cookie five you, but I, that's, I, that's okay. I, I don't know if I should be. If it, you were seem you seem really really surprised. No, <laughs> like I mean, like that's a that's a that's a. You know, two by two by one piston door. It is. Yeah, like you and you nailed it. I'm, I'm, dude. I'm impressed. That's like that's like day two redstone there, and you've just like nailed it. I know. Shot. That is. That definitely didn't take you like three days to do, did it? No. <laughs> am I, hang on. Am I gonna die? Hang on. Hang on. I'm opening my wings. Oh, good, there's water. It said, "Take a leap of faith." I'm gonna oh, come down. Chest. There's a chest. Set spawn. Oh goodness. There's rules. See, set spawn. Place all items and gear in a chest. Do I take no items with me? You don't need anything, my friend. I don't. So I don't. I don't need the biscuit. Don't need the biscuit. I don't need the book. Don't need the book. Don't need anything. I not not even food. I didn't think about food. Okay, so I, I'm guessing I'm not allowed to look inside. No, I don't look inside. Don't look inside. Okay, okay. fine. Okay. I'm not a redstone all genius, alright? Gonna... There's probably ways of hiding this. I didn't know. Oh, you look so good, man. You look this is lovely. the worst I've looked in my life. You look lovely. <laughs> this, is, this is the worst. I've, is this Curse of Binding? You look so this, good. This is, this is this is my future. I'm so glad I came back down here with you. I'm so goofy. All right, let's do this. <laughs> so I'm not going to show you everything that happened now. Sims put the entire video up, so check that out if you want to see more. I'm just going to show you some of the highlights and some of the bits that he probably didn't see himself. The second page has nothing on it. That's just a troll. A total troll move. All right, so one, two, three, and four. All right, I got to think. Shaden, Shaden, twenty-three. What would he do? It's not going to be one and four. It's going to be either two or three. Shaden, twenty-three. All right. So what would he choose? Is he an even or an odd kind of guy? He's he's odd. Yeah, Shaden is odd. Oh, I'll just be waiting here for you. Craft that which creates stone. Time is short. Okay. You need me to create a furnace. How are you going in there? Uh, I'm going to guess that that needs to go in there. This is where we find out if Shaden stuffed up the redstone and if I turn them all on, will it open? It does not. It does. All right. All right. Shaden, I am officially impressed. Oh, did you hear that, everyone? I've got to, I'm going to uh, make a sound bite of that. Hang on, you didn't let me finish. <laughs> I'm impressed with the simplicity of this. Because all these numbers mean absolutely nothing. Yeah. All right, all right. Shaden, I am officially impressed. I am officially impressed. Shaden, I am officially impressed. Officially impressed.
Okay, let's let's figure it out. Let's figure it out. You, you much of a much of a computer guy? Mm, give or take. Okay, okay. How many switches are there on each side? Two, four, six, there's eight. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. I see what you've done there. But then why have you got a one? Mm -hmm. see, that doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. This isn't zeros and ones, mate. This is Minecraft. This is Minecraft. I'm looking at your name tag. Each switch right, is okay. a zero and a one. Just so you know. It's either on or off. Can someone mute him? All right. So what do I need? I need 148. So 148. That one's 64. I need another 84. This it's, isn't. Good. This doesn't make sense. Though. There's a 128 right next to it. I can see that. But okay. You want? He wants me to use 128, which leaves me with 20. Okay. So that's if that's eight, then that's four. That's two, and that's one. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Yeah, we don't really use one, two, and four anymore, mate. Like, come on. How old are you? All right, that's fine. Okay, fine. We'll do it your stupid way. All right, so we'll chuck a 16 on. We'll chuck a four on, and this light should be lit. And there it is. Okay, that was easy. All right, first try. No, didn't need any help. See, that was, that was crazy. Oh, yeah, 90 and the 91. Yeah, and they're both open. And the door's open. First try. Took me all of like... Four, that, was a, that was four seconds for anyone watching. Okay, so this is lava. Hey, I like this room, though. Can we all just take a moment to appreciate this room so that I don't have to go any further? And are these meant to look like little faces? Um, you don't recognize your own face. No, not really. Is that me? Is it though? It's, I mean, it's, my eyes aren't it's, that big. It's stretched out, so like. Yeah. Oh, my eyes are sort of big, aren't they? Oh, almost, almost, almost got me that one. Oh, that's okay. I made it because I'm a pro. This is, this is, this is leading to nothing. Do I need to fall down? Is there something down there? Um, is there? There's lava down there. Is it? Is that what that is? Hmm. I thought it was a hot tub. All right, so um. There is uh, officially... Um, there he goes. Okay. I think he wants me to jump into those holes. Or at least... He wants me to think that I want him to... No. He wants me to think that he wants me to jump into these holes. But what do I want? What do I think? Sometimes I wonder. Sometimes I wonder. Does he think... Oh, I'm going to miss that one. Okay, quick look around. Quick look around. Oh, that's... Um, I tried to swim. Like, oh, I lost all 69 points. Oh, no. Uh, whoops. I missed that one as well. I'm, I'm wondering if the faces have anything to do with it, but there's not really... Oh, okay. Okay. No, no, I get it. I've got this. I have got this. You have? You've got it? So, the mini faces. The mini faces. I originally thought that you used armor stands. But they're not armor stands, are they, Shaden? They're invisible item frames. What? And when and when you turn items in an invisible art in a in an item frame, it gives a redstone signal. Does it? Now I know this. How do you know this, Sim? Well, I just I, I know redstone. I'm not. Ah. I'm not like I'm not wearing your head anymore. All right. This could be a long time. Just hmm. saying. How, how many heads are there? There's one. Oh, whoops! I fell. All right, the all right, that's fine, fine. Okay, so we just go all the way along here, uh, over here. Did I? Uh, I missed the jump. What's the bet? It's just like one head that I had to turn, and then the rest of these are just a waste of my time. There's eight heads with eight possible options each. That's a lot of combinations. All right, this is gonna be a seven-hour episode now. Let's do this. Let's get every. Oh, I fell. Is there okay, Shaden? Don't you don't have to give me any hints here, but is there a hint somewhere? Like, is there something that I am missing? Nope, you're not missing anything. Okay, so like, it's not like there's a number written somewhere, and I'm just not paying attention to it. There's a number, but that's just the amount of times you fell in lava. Oh, <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm I, I kind of am glad that I missed out on it now, and um, oh, I almost fell again. Oh, okay. Um, okay, this one. 
No, I missed that. I missed that jump. That was that was poor skill right there. As you can see, parkour is my is my uh, is my true strength. Hmm. Okay. Ah, that's lava. All right, all right, all right. Let's get this done. Let's let's actually try now. Oh, I got it. That was simple. All right, Shaden. Now that now that I've actually opened it, mm -hmm. can you t can you tell me what the actual combination or was? It did I just have to turn one of these? There's like no it? combination. You just had to get the right strength on two of them. Only two of them. Oh. That's it. That's all it was. Uh, oh, it looks like there's an exit this way. Or there's a thing this way. I'm gonna go this way. Uh, just ignore this. Just go straight through, please. <laughs> ignore that. This, ignore that. Ignore this. This is where I. This is where I hang out. This is where I hang out. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't, that's not there. That's not there. All right. Uh, I'm coming right. up. Well, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll cut it out. I promise. All okay. right. I will cut that out of my video. Sure you will. I'm not cutting it out. I'm not cutting it out. <laughs> Oh, this is going a long way up. A long way up. Oh, I'm, I'm back up. I'm not, I'm not home. Okay, we have a door and we have or sim. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, this just keeps going. I'm just going to stand here all day. Ooh, hang on. I'm missing some. Congratulations. Thank you. Whoa, this is a lot, dude. Like, this is 57. Yep. 57, Not that's the amount of blocks that I dug out while I was making this for you. So I figured it's for you. Can it, why not? Can it, can it be 64? That's, it was 57. That's what I got. I didn't no, get 64. Awesome. I didn't get 64. But, but, okay, I mean, I'll take I'm it back 64. off you now. That's fine. Okay. No, 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 okay. no, don't take that. No. So is that it? Have that's, I passed? You did it. That's it. Do I get a crown? I mean, you got diamonds. Like you got like, that could be so many diamonds. I don't know how many diamonds that is. With your fortune uh, pick, that could be a lot of diamonds. Can I, can I have a crown? Can I have a crown? I don't... I mean... Hang on. Here. Here we go. There. <laughs> you don't want that crown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's dark. Oh, no! There's a baby! There's oh. a baby zombie! Ah. And I've got no armor on! <laughs> to the water! <laughs> the water. Hang on, I got him. Oh, no. oh, hang on. Hang on. Towards me. <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> I got knocked back. I got knocked back. <laughs> like, threw him into my face. <laughs> I didn't oh, mean to. Oh, that was sabotage. I didn't He's mean like, to. Here's some diamonds. Now die. Um, yeah, I didn't consider the fact that you might come up here at night time. So you just hang on. You run away. I'll go sleep. Hang on. I'll be back. That's cool. It's cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. I had a lot of fun making it. I've got to go and turn this iron farm back on because look at all those golems. They're, 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 they're piling up. They, 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 they need to die. <sighs> anyway, if you had fun, please, uh, it would be great if you gave me a like. Subscribe even. That would be fantastic. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, these guys aren't liking this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs>